Hey, what's up, you guys? We're chilling here at Avalon in Hollywood, and I got my man. Introduce yourself. What's up? I'm CJ uh, from Chicago. Yeah, CJ. Now, CJ is rocking the IM5 hat because you're working with them. Yeah, um, I just uh, worked with the boys these uh, past three days and yes. uh, set a new number for their new song. Um, so, yeah, it was a great time working with them. They're hard workers. They're a talented young bunch, so... All right, keep it real. So which boy like got it the quickest and which boy did you have to kind of like, you know? Uh, you're looking for the dirt. I'm, dude, those are the homies, so like, I need to know. I need to know what's up. You know what, I was actually really impressed by their level of dancing. Oh, like, I don't like PC. <laughs> keep it real. Um, I could tell- Dana was the best. Dana and Gabe are actually okay, very good. strong. Okay. They're very strong. Cole and Will are very strong and I know I was Love you, Dalton. That was the nice way of saying Dal Dalton in your life. Dalton has the least amount of experience, but he, he's he so good great. too. He yeah. looks great. Yeah. I see Dana at all the dance events, yeah. so I figured he'd be the best. I used to see Dana in like adult dance classes yeah. when he was like 13, just like killing all the adults. So Dana's, you know, Dana's he's got some, it. Yeah. yeah, he's had some experience dancing. He's he's nasty. So. Now is it upbeat songs that they're doing slow, a mixture of both? Um, no, it's kind of a really up tempo kind of vibe. It's not too too dancey. It's just like. I just wanted the choreography to be like exciting. It's just like a good like crowd pumper, you know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. And how did you get like, you know, how did that happen? Like how do you know I am five, how that come together? Uh, I've just known Dana for the ever since I moved out to LA. So he's just been a homie. I think he like took my class um, at Millennium and he just suggested me to their, you know, manager and all that sh stuff. So yeah, just worked out, you yes. know. And you're here for a while, but I know you were touring with Bieber for a while. Are you going back on tour? Are you here permanently, or what's, what's the situation? Uh, yeah, I'm actually leaving on the 20th, and we're taking over Asia and South America and Australia, I believe. So it's going to be one crazy ride, and then I think in December, that's when I'll... I'll be home for a while, you know. What what is that scream like? Because I, you know, we see it. I am five, for instance. You know, girls are screaming and stuff. But the Bieber and at a tour, it's like a million girls. What is that like for a dancer? Yeah, I've realized I've lost a lot of my hearing because of that. Because I'll be, have my beats on and my volume on my iPod all the way up, yeah. and I'm like, that's not healthy. So the first couple shows, yeah, it was kind of crazy. But I think I'm kind of numb to all the screams yeah. now. So it's kind of at a modest, yeah. I guess I kept, my ears got kind of callous to it, I guess, you know. How's Bieber with his dancers? Like, do you guys get to chill a lot? I know he's super busy, so I don't know. You know, it depends on the artist. Some artists are like this with their dancers. Some, it's never negative, but they just can't because of their schedule. How is he kind of with his dancers? He's actually real cool. Um, he hits the guys up to, like, play some basketball. He loves to shoot hoops and, like, lift weights and, like, just kick it and, like, listen to his new music. You know, he's really cool with the guys and, and the girls. Like, I think one time he took them to the zoo. Just, like, he's really cool. He likes to chill with us, like... He's a great guy, you know, we're all around his age, so we all vibe and connect, you know, and yeah. he loves dancers, he loves and appreciates dancers, you know, so it's he's awesome. He's become a dancer himself, like when he first started it was little cute moves and yeah. now he can dance. No, he's actually serious about it, like he hits us up to like just vibe and session with him in the studio, he wants to get better, and yeah. he's so talented, he's he's getting better so quick, so, you know, by I think the, his next door he's just going to be an, an absolute animal. And then lastly, um, maybe more projects with IM5, you don't know yet? Or? I would love to. Fingers crossed, yeah. Come on, but, Dana. Yeah. Step up. <laughs> but it was just a great uh, first time experience, and yeah, I just love to do it again. Oh, and I, I know last, real last question. Um, you know, we were talking to Paul Abdul, I think, about it or something. You know, before, dancers were always in the back, and now you guys are, like, how is it having, like, the believers, like, support you guys and follow you on Instagram and, like, tweet you and appreciate you when that wasn't happening 20 years ago? Yeah, no, um, it's absolutely great. It uh, just feeds more into the energy, like, of my passion and, like, my dancing, you know? I mean, I know they only, like, follow us because we're, like, associates of Bieber, but, yeah, it's, I mean, I, you know, I couldn't ask for better support just Absolutely. all around. All right, tell them, what's the best social media site you're at? Like, are you really good at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? Uh, I'm kind of terrible, but I guess Instagram. Definitely Instagram. Instagram. So tell them what Insta your Instagram is. Just underscore CJ Salvador. All right, follow this guy right here. He's going to go check out his boys. I'm five. We're about to hit the stage. Thanks for talking with us, man. Take care.